summer is just about over and that means that our kids are about to go back to school. And what better way to welcome them back from that first day with a nice sweet treat. And today we're going to be making a sugar-free Jello Whip. So really easy, nice, light. The kids are going to love it and make that first day back to school a little bit easier on them and on us. So let's go ahead and make this nice, easy, delicious treat. In a microwave safe bowl, add one packet of your Jello mix. Why microwave safe, I will explain later. And to that, add half of the recommended amount of water. Make sure that it's hot enough to dissolve the crystals from the Jello. And then just go ahead and grab your whisk and just keep mixing it until all of the crystals are dissolved. Now that your crystals are dissolved, go ahead and add the other half of the recommended amount of water. But make sure that this is cold water because you're going to want to bring the temperature down of your Jell-O mix and then go ahead and just give it a stir and make sure that it's all incorporated and starts cooling down. And go ahead and place your Jell-O in the fridge to cool and set up and then grab a large mixing bowl and add three quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. Then just go ahead and grab your hand mixer. You can use a whisk attachment if you have one. And then just on a low speed, just start mixing it. Because if you've never made whipped cream before and you start off on too high of a speed, you will be quite surprised at the mess you can make. And as your whipped cream starts to thicken, you can gradually turn up the speed and just go ahead and just keep whipping it until it gets nice and thick. Now you can add sweetener to your whipped cream if you choose to. I don't because the jello seems to be sweet enough for me, but that's up to you and how much sweetness you like. Now once your whipped cream has reached a stiff peak, you are done and ready to add your jello. Now go ahead and take your jello out of the fridge and this is the consistency you want. You want it half set and half liquid, which is why I did suggest that you put it in a microwave safe bowl. That way, if it is too set, you can go ahead and throw it in the microwave for 10 seconds at a time until it reaches the consistency that I had. Now with a rubber spatula or a hand whisk, just go ahead and incorporate the Jello with the whipped cream. Now if you're using a rubber spatula, just go ahead and fold it in so that way you don't break down the whipped cream. But if you're using a whisk, you can go ahead and just give it a really good mix. The goal here is just to completely incorporate the jello with the whipped cream and just make it nice and smooth. Now once you're satisfied that it's mixed enough, just go ahead and take some plastic wrap, cover it, and set it in the fridge for about a half hour to set up. And once you take it out, just give it a nice stir, fluff it back up, and it will be ready for you and the kids to enjoy. There it is, quick and easy. Look at that color how light and airy and fluffy it is. They're gonna love it. Now you can use whatever flavor jello you want uh, to create whatever color, you get their favorite colors. Just something to brighten their day. But the important part is, like I always say, how it's gonna taste. And let's see how much they're gonna enjoy it. Oh, that's real good. Nice and fluffy sweet but not over sweet you know no real sugar in this so a little bit healthier for them actually it's a lot healthier for them because it doesn't have all that sugar and all that other junk in it so heavy whipping cream it's a beautiful dessert something quick very easy you know something to brighten up brighten up their day without having to put too much effort into it not that they're not worth it because i know how much my kids mean to me, and I'm sure how much your kids mean to you. So just another amazing dessert, um, something that you can give them to just show them how much you care about them and how much you love them. So, you know, you can try one of my other dessert recipes. You know, I'll put a link up there. Um, if they're not into, you know, the fruity flavors, if they're more of a, like a chocolate or a mousse kind of flavor, I have some recipes for that. But in the meantime, if you want more recipes like this, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you can get notified of any other videos that I make. 
And uh, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. Stay awesome, and I'll see you soon.